Hello guys, it's Alex and welcome back to Norwich to Glory episode 6 I want to say where I'm going to do another 2 two get matches this episode and I think after that I'll do 3 for the next one um, so we've got Sheffield, Wednesday and Stoke Stoke being the big game of the episode playing currently 2nd who if we do win beat, sorry we could potentially overtake them yeah we've got better goal difference than them so if we can beat Sheffield and then beat Stoke we'll we'll be moving up a position at least so yeah let's get into the first game okay guys here's the team for the first first game of the episode They're playing another team who's got five at the back it's a bit of a pain but yeah I've got quite a strong team but I don't want to put the best team out because I want I'd rather that against Stoke so yeah let's here get into go, guys we'll getting into the first enjoy. game now hopefully we and can uh, get a win joined here on the commentary box by now it's put your game face on Get down to it. I'm really looking forward to this one. Goondeer's found Campbell early on. Brilliant goal. Three minutes in. I mean, Sheffield looked quite dangerous right at the start. They were keeping the ball quite well, but we've just nicked it and counted there. Easy goal. Campbell's shot power is amazing as well. So, a brilliant loan signing for us. Might sign in properly if we have enough money. Because I'm hearing there's been a goal on the Reading match. Alan. It's a goal for Bournemouth. 12 minutes played, a real opening now. And they've scored, poor goal to concede. 1-1. One, one. Oh dear. And there to intervene. Sorensen. Cantwell's Ka found Buendia, who's slotted slot it in to make 2-1. Good goal. Bottom corner, my favourite place to put it. The far post. And winning it back. So the referee Half time the there, 2 1. Not a bad game. The the They're pretty strong, well, to be fair. They, they keep the ball quite well. It's difficult to get it back off them. Um, and I think Bournemouth and Stoke are winning, which isn't the best. Where are they? Bournemouth winning 2 0. Um, and Stoke winning 2 0. So, and Derby are winning. So, all three teams ahead of us are winning. Not the best of signs, but. Let's just concentrate on our game and see if we can win. Well, they couldn't keep possession. This looks threatening. It's Campbell through here. Or is he offside? He looks like he's onside. Can he finish? He Good save. Hernandez gets onto the end of it. Back Still to Cantwell. Blocked. Yundir's got it. Can we still make a chance of this? Cantwell's got it again in the box. Cuts back, Teammate finds available. Campbell. Who scuffs well, it? <laughs> Bannon. And he takes it away. Fruitful looking attack. And so the That's full time. We've won 2-1. Two two one. That was a very Tommy. difficult game. Well they were the they, they were 12th when we played game, before the start of the game, but today. never really in danger. You know, top scorers look like they had another couple of gears to go. If it was a tough result. game, <laughs> I I thought I'd you know go through that a bit easier, but they were actually one of the harder teams I've played this season. So fair play to them. Um, stats. It was very possessiony that game, just passing, trying to look for an opportunity. But it was Campbell and Buendia with the goals, and Buendia and Campwell with the assists. So a good game all round. Um, and I want to say, yeah, Derby drew 1 1. So I think that's made us go up a position before we're even playing Stoke. So we could be in the top two by the end of the episode. Um, yeah. So we are now third. We've overtaken Derby and Brentford are now up there again. Look at that. Stoke and Bournemouth haven't even lost a game yet. It's us and Brentford have only lost one and we beat Brentford. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll get into the next game in a so minute. Here we go, guys, into the last game of the episode. Pretty big game again. 
against Stoke could put us into the top two could potentially be first if Bournemouth lose but we finally caught up I don't want to you know lose that chance again so here are the teams before the game I've gone for a pretty strong team Vranic isn't a regular but he's, he was saying he's moaning about wanting to play more so at the end of the day I'm happy to have him in my team he's good for free kicks so but yeah let's get into it so here we go guys, the commentator said that it's the best scoring team in the league which is us against the best defensive team in the league so it's going to be interesting to see if we're going to be able to score or not so let's get into it Now he's just running down the line, whips it in Simmons, could save Vranic, blocked Two good chances early on, we've still got a corner Can Chambers get his head on it? No, but it falls to Pookie, who knocks it into the bottom corner from the edge of the box. A crowded box as well. What a goal from Pookie. I think it's Angus Gunning goal. He used to play for Norwich. Let's have a look at that. Look at that. Bottom corner. Brilliant goal. Well below their usual standards, Derek, to be honest with you. Obviously, there's a long, long way to go. But we all thought they'd be up there challenging for the title, or at least there or thereabouts. Simmons puts Pucky through here. They really do. Oh, the can chance. he finish? He can. 2 0. Speeding forward. And Pucky's through it. here. There's he so much space. It Knocks it to Buendia, and he scores. And there, there is so much space up front. It is unbelievable. 3 0. Pucky to Buendia. Duo in real life being scored and assisted against Coventry both. Clark, Badu NGI, and smart defending. Breaking and Pookie's through again. Look how much space there is at the back. They're just not defending properly. Pookie oh, for the hat here. trick. Four nil. I do the not know. They're crumbling at the back. The They're going well, way too far forward, and I'm just sitting back and watching it happen. Situation. It looks promising. Can he put it away? This is ridiculous. 5 0. I do not know what is happening, but <laughs> this is top of the table. Oh, and they've got through here. Joe Allen dinks it, and it's in. 5-1, I hope it's just a consolation goal, but it's a bit annoying to concede. 5-1 should be half-time, any minute now. There you go, half-time. And what I did realise is Bournemouth are playing Brentford at the moment, but two teams who are around us, a, a team will be dropping points in that game as well. But this is, I was not expecting to be this far ahead at half-time. Oh, sorry, no, Brentford are playing Sheffield Wednesday. Sorry, eh? But Bournemouth are drawing. So, let's have a look at the stats. It's a bit... <laughs> Ten shots I've had. This is stupid, honestly. But let's get into the second half. Let's get into the second half now. Let's hopefully just see this game out. Not showing good patience. Opportunity it is. And they scored to make it 5-2. It it's been very it's been a lot more tricky at half time. Look at the high press they're putting on that all the players just ran forward there. Untidy in possession. Looks promising this. It might be. And Campbell, good save, falling to Cantwell, who knocks it in. 6-2 What is that? Okay Oh dear 6-2 Here we can tell Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse Can they create something from He's in behind He might be able to carve something out Cuts it back Oh god it's 6-3 This game is so silly sometimes uh, I don't know what to do to be honest because this is on legendary like th there's only one level above it and ultimate I tried last year I've tried every FIFA and I don't think I've won a game on ultimate so I don't oh, God, so I, I don't know if I can do ultimate but 
I might have to try it because this is getting a bit silly now. 7-3 against top of the table. But well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we might test out next episode against Luton. Through. Might and try an ultimate do level. Go placement or do you go but, for power? Well, he certainly yeah. wasn't messing around. How close does he want to be to score? He's gone for power and fluffed his lines. Tommy Smith. Full time guys, 7-3 against top of the table, it means we're finally, finally in the top two, so we're in the promotion spots, it's taken a lot of games to get there but we finally made it, so yeah let's look at the stats before I go back to the hub, um, again look on the right, I mean it doesn't look that, I only had 33% possession but, player ratings, Pucky with 4, Cantwell with 2, Buren Deer with 1, um, that was it, yeah. And then goal assist, Pucky one, Buren Deer one, Simmons three. All round good game again. So yeah, seven three. So just before I end the episode, I'll show you the um, table. So that last game, Bournemouth drew. So we're only one point behind Bournemouth now to go top of the league, and they're the only team who are uh, remain unbeaten in the league. Um, but. Yeah, I'll just show you the rest of the table. So, the top Watford are finally in the top six. It's taken their time to get there, but they're here. Who else is down there? Luton have dropped right off. They were up there for quite a while. You got Swansea still down there. Forest, Millwall, Cardiff, Wickham are still out the relegation zone, and Barnsley are still on one point. And Bristol and QPR are the other two relegation teams. I'll just show you the calendar for the games ahead. We've got next episode, I think it's Luton, Blackburn, and I might play Reading as well. I might do a free game episode. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.